Happy Friday, everyone. Well, you've heard of hair transplants, but did you know there is such a thing as eyebrow transplants? Dr. Jennifer Krejci with the Limmer Hair Transplant Center is joining us, joining us with some really uh, interesting information because, of course, everyone's heard of actual hair transplants on your scalp, but I didn't know you could, you could do that when it came to eyebrows. You can. You borrow the same hair really from the scalp as you do with a regular hair transplant, but you use it for eyebrows. Typically, why would someone need or get an eye, eyebrow transplant? Well, as you've noticed, with styles of, of cosmetics and hair, mm -hmm. eyebrow styles changed too, so there was a lot of overplucking that went on years yes, ago. there was, in the 90s, yes. in the early 2000s. <laughs> and now the, the fuller eyebrow is actually making a comeback. So people are sort of regretful of some of the overplucking that they did and wanting to fill it in now. They have plucking regret. Yeah. <laughs> they have plucking regret. Okay, so how is this performed? What are we looking at here? Well, this is me marking off um, the, the planning area where we're going to put hair into this young lady. And she actually sustained an injury that, that destroyed her eyebrow. She okay. was hit by a car in this case. So obviously, this is a different situation. Yes, yeah, so some people have trauma and some people just have overplucking. But either mm -hmm. way, I'm marking it off here to say, you know, this is where we're going to put the hair. Mm -hmm. So once you, you start the procedure, is it painful? How long does it typically take? How many do you have to do it more than once? So it's usually a one-time procedure, but sometimes they require a touch-up in six months to a year just to add more density of the hair. Uh, it takes quite a while. It's a very meticulous process. Mm -hmm. uh, you can expect it to spend six hours or so at the office um, for one uh, full eyebrow transplant, meaning both, both. both eyebrows. Okay. And um, uh, it's not very painful because, of course, we're using lidocaine and anesthesia to numb the area. He's but you're local then. Local anesthesia. You're not asleep. You don't have to be put to sleep mm -hmm. for this. Uh, it's all awake. And then once it's down, okay, we're looking at before, That's a before and, after. and after. Look at those beautiful results. And this is an example where someone had tattooed on her eyebrows, uh -huh. and then we replaced the tattoo really with hair or augmented it with hair. That is so, it's just amazing to me the advances and what yeah. you're able to do. Uh, what is post-op like? Is there any downtime after you've had the procedure? Do you, do you have to take time off work? Most people do because yeah. the biggest uh, uh, side effect is swelling. You know, you're putting some needle sticks in around your, your eyelid and so there's some swelling, some redness and a little bit of crusting where the hairs have been planted. Mm -hmm. Um, but about a week is, is max. And you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And then how long does it take for you to see the final results? Because I know it takes a while to get that, that final perfect look that you went in for. Hair growth is really predictable when you transplant it. Originally, you're going to see the, the hairs that you've placed, but then they usually shed. And so then you wait 6 to 12 months for them to regrow. So mm -hmm. it takes a little time. It takes time. But you get an idea then of what it will look like right after the procedure. Correct. Okay, well that's really cool. Now, if someone is interested, um, they just need to call you? Yeah, they Set can call Set up a consultation? We do consultations. Um, I explain the whole thing and, and we can even draw out to have an idea what it'll look like. Okay. You can see more photos and things of before and afters. This is wonderful. I know this is uh, what, a lot, what a lot of people are looking for and they've been you know, trying to figure out the best route to take. So I think the best thing is to give them a call at the Limmer Hair Transplant Center. They're on San Pedro, Suite 245. The phone number is 496-9992. You can also go to LimmerHTC.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. All right, you guys.